Now our very own David Neal is out there near Loveland Pass, Colorado, and it looks like there's a little snow accumulated on the ground, but you see that anemometer behind you, those winds seem to be gusting pretty tough. Yeah, we've had some wind gusts here, uh, certainly over the past few minutes. Uh, the snow is still falling. It's a little light snow. I called it uh, uh, like a snizzle. It's a little drizzle and a little snow mixed in from time to time. Uh, we're here at about 10,000 feet is where you had to go to find the snowfall during the day today. Uh, coming down uh, really in the overnight hours mostly. As we traveled up Loveland Pass, uh, you get about uh, uh, 11,000 feet really and it started to accumulate quite a bit. Three to five inches there in the Loveland Pass area. And uh, as you see, I-70 behind me, you can hear it anyway, is, is business as usual. Everybody is doing very well. This is on the west side of Georgetown, just before you get to the Eisenhower Tunnel. And uh, at least at this point, there were no no problems really to speak of. The wind, the temperature is about 35, so anything that's on the roadway now is melted uh, anyway. So there are just a few isolated uh, spots here and there where there might be a few problems. Tracy, I was kind of upset because last uh, winter I picked up this I mean, it was like this really fancy kind of a scraper, kind of a brush kind of a thing. It's got a telescoping pole, and I was ready for it, Tracy, you know, because you know how much I love snow, and all I've been able to do is scratch my back with it today. You know what? You hang tight, because I just have this slight inkling that in the next couple months, you're going to get back out there with some pretty impressive snowfall amounts. Yeah. What do you think? You know, I'm from Alabama. We get like one every couple of years, so I, I do love it. I love to see it. And uh, the first significant snowfall, I know for the skiers that's great news because they were looking for that to happen. Oh, yeah, and I'm from Minnesota, so if you need me to show you some of the ropes, you just let me know because I'm a pro. <laughs> I, I hear you are. <laughs> Thanks, David. We'll check back in with uh -huh. you here throughout the next couple hours.